Hey, you good looking people? So, my relationship with Pentax runs rather deep. I remember on our first overseas trip as a family, we had to get a camera to take along to capture the memories we would be making with our first visit back to Vietnam as an entire family since leaving in the early 80s. My dad had a preference for Pentax cameras having used a Pentax K1000 earlier on in his youth through I think his academic days um, and was quite fond of them so when it came time for him to pick up a new one obviously he went for something he knew. Um, to be honest at that time I probably spent a bit more time in front of the camera than I did behind the camera but it always stuck with me. So later on when it was my turn to finally buy a camera having made some money post uni or during uni I think it was I ended up picking a Pentax 2. At the time I believe it was the Pentax Ice D which I loved. Um, it was a beautiful design and being an industrial design student the aesthetic definitely appealed to me but uh, as I began my photographic journey, I went through subsequent models of Pentax cameras all the way till I think the one K100D and then we parted ways because young me thought since I was planning to go the professional route I would need either a Nikon or a Canon for whatever reason not really understanding it at the time that it was the 30 centimeters behind the camera and not just the thing itself. Roll on some years and with a bit more knowledge and experience under my belt just like old high school friends you lost touch with I wondered how Pentax was going so fortunately CR Kennedy were kind enough to lend me a Pentax K3 Mark III to try out. So I guess this video is about how they're coming along and what I think of it since having used it the last time some time ago. Hopefully this becomes useful for you if you are planning to buy one for yourself or just have a general curiosity like me in how Pentax is doing. Anyways, let's continue. How does it hold up? It's a pretty rugged camera, great ergonomics, buttons are very well placed, it feels immensely solid, like you could really give it a beating. Not that I would considering this is a loner and I don't think CR Kennedy would appreciate me smashing this camera too much. Uh, especially considering this uh, lens here is a personal item of one of the staff who were kind enough to lend me it. Thanks Clinton. Um, yeah, so I put it through its paces, even filmed some hiking videos with it. Yes, you heard me right, video on a Pentax digital SLR you'd actually be surprised with the results. But first of all, let's talk about photography, right? How does it hold up? I think it has no problem keeping up with most modern cameras, even of the mirrorless variety, and the image quality is beautiful. I think the uh, color science out of them is actually pretty exceptional. I would definitely rate it above, say, Nikon, Canon even, most definitely the Sony I am currently using. Um, but you know, check out the pictures, see what you think for yourself. I definitely do not want to tell you how to think, this is purely my opinion. So, making a lot of video content these days, I wanted to try out the video features on this camera. And surprisingly, they held up very well. If there are any shortcomings, I could say, I would probably like some more uh, bitrate options. And if it included 
a vlog option of some sort, I think it would be perfectly fine for actual paid work as well. Um, check out the hiking footage I've included and, you know, you get an idea of what it is capable of. Uh, on older lenses, the AF probably does not keep up, but with newer lenses, it did the job. I was happy with it and of course there's always manual focusing if you are a sadist which I am to some degree considering I enjoy hiking. You definitely can use it for video if it is your thing. So given the footage and images I've shared I hope that gives you some idea of what this camera is capable. In more better hands, maybe you can create even better work. But no, I am but a humble content creator and doing my best to bring you the best results I can. So, what do I think, having used it over this period of time? Honestly, it is an amazing camera and definitely keeps up with what is on offer on the market at the moment. If I can say one thing about Ricoh Pentax's future, I would love to see a serious mirrorless camera from them. Cause honestly, the only thing that would stop me from grabbing this over other cameras I have is probably the weight at the end of the day. I know that would involve probably creating a new mount and stuff, but the rest of the tech they already have. And in a smaller, lighter body, it would be highly competitive. And having used a ton of the latest cameras on the market, it would be hard to look past, especially if it was priced right. It's cool to see where Pantex has come since the last time I used it, the K100D days, but um, hopefully they have a nice long future ahead of them too. And if they do release that mirrorless camera sometime, I would love to try it out. Anyways, all the best for the future. Hope this has served you well and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.